here in the story here in this situation in these uh, circumstances, this condition, I mean, this uh, critical condition that uh, um, uh, that lepers are a disease that is painful and that it separates you from everybody else. You are isolated. You are set in a place uh, um, uh, um, to yourself because of that disease. And um, uh, in a sense, I guess it, it is uh, contagious. And so you would have to be separated. You would um, uh, 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 dismantle from the rest of the crowd. You use in a place all to yourself. You there, there was a disease that out before that was called uh, what was that? It was called the one that the, the uh, really coughing disease. It was um I can't call it now. Um, Crouping cough. Crouping. No, it wasn't Crouping the Crouping cough. It was the uh, okay. It was the tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, which they called the TDs and all that. And that was very uh, uh, um a uh, very um well it wasn't it was a disease too. That people were catching, you know, and he'll talk of tuber uh, tubercul tuberculosis and more. Mm -hmm. Not in that term. Maybe there's a proper name there for it, a, a, a better name, or I don't know. But however, you don't hear that much of and not being so uh, much of an intense that it can cause you to be um, separated and isolated and put to aside to yourselves. And without the crowd, Amen. But uh, um, we thank God that we um, we never con been confronted with any of these diseases. But we have, we do have things that's going on even in our day, um, as we see the uh, we have the, the COVID and uh, we have the other diseases going on. The and you know, we're coming up with different flus and all you know and um, all kind of sicknesses and diseases that are coming. That we're being confronted with as we uh, uh, go to our day-to-day -day, uh, occupations or eat our day-to-day -day living. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. And um, so we also being confronted with certain things here in our day and time there with cancer and and everything else that goes uh, going on and uh, um, that uh, um, we're being confronted <laughs> with. But here it was that uh, um, as Jesus passed, uh, now, as Jesus came through the midst of Samaria and uh, Galilee, he met uh, ten lepers. He had he met ten people that was a leper, had the leprosy, and uh, uh, there was lepers, and um, and they cried out. They lifted up the voice and they cried out to Jesus. They they did, when they when they saw him, they cried out to him. Amen. With a loud voice, uh, the Bible declares and said unto Jesus, and they recognized and acknowledged him. They said, Master, amen. And they said, Have mercy amen. on me, on us, rather. Have mercy on us. Amen. And, um, they was collectively gathered together, so they said, On us. You know, sometimes we can get selfish. At this point, they are assembled together and they are collectively on the same accord because they have has the same disease. Can I get a witness? Amen. So they spoke the same thing and they spoke about all of them instead of just me. You know, sometimes we can get selfish. Lord, save me and, uh, 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 um, you know, and forget about everybody else. If there's a ship sinking. We're saying, Lord, save me instead of the Lord, save us. That's right. Can I get a witness? Yes. And in this particular case here, they felt that they all was in the same boat and they all was in... Uh, dealing with the same thing. So therefore, collectively and on the same accord and the harmony that they had together, said, Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. You notice that God did not, uh, does not teach us, he does not teach us to be selfish. That's right. Even in the prayer, he said, uh, uh, as we pray, we begin to say, uh, uh, um, uh, unto the Lord, said, uh, uh, our Father, we don't say my Father, do we? Mm -hmm. He, Jesus taught us to pray. He taught his disciples to pray, which trickled down to us as being saints and children of the living God. He said, uh, instead of saying, my father, he said to say, our father. Our father, which art in heaven, Amen. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Didn't say give me, just me, but give us. You know, there's something about that when you begin to uh, um, bring in um, the us instead of me, 
amen, instead of being singular, but being plural in your praying, in your prayers, then your prayers get answered better and quicker. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so easy for us to go there and say, Lord, help me or bless me. But what about, are we praying for anybody else to be blessed? Uh, God did not teach yes, us. Sir. Jesus did not teach his disciples to be selfish, did he? That's right. He taught them to pray one for another. He taught them to seek you not your own. Seek ye not your own, but another's Me, wealth. Yeah, that's right. Can I get a witness here? In other words, when you are in pain or hurting, amen, then the Lord is telling me, as crazy as it may sound, and it's awkward and, it's, and it seems a little backwards here. Why should I be praying for something? I'm the one that's hurting. No, the Lord was allowing us to realize and to understand you're not the only one that's going through. Are y'all with me up in here? All right now. Can I get a witness? So in other words, while you're praying for someone else, guess what? Your rescue or your sickness or whatever that you're going through uh, is being healed because that you are reaping what you are sowing. sowing. That's right. And as you begin to sow into another person's life, you begin to reap the things into your life. Can I hear yes, yes, If yes. you feed the homeless, guess what happened? If there, there will be a time that you will never be homeless. Uh, Y'all ain't going to help me preach this. See, the Lord has given us uh, a ways of how to how to live and learning how to live without being selfish or thinking about ourselves, but thinking about others. All right. Are y'all still with me? Yes. Amen. So when we are going through, we need to start our prayers and giving thanks and praise unto God for somebody else. Somebody else. Regardless of how critical or how bad it may seem or how intense things may be in our lives, if we're praying for somebody else, then guess what? It's coming back to you. Yes, then, yes, yes, yes. So indeed. seek ye not your own but another's wealth. Amen. Seek ye not your own but another's man's or someone else's healing. Seek ye not your own, uh, Lord, uh, to, to, to uh, bring food and fill my refrigerator, but pray that somebody else's refrigerator get filled. Or pray that somebody else has something on their yes. table. Pray yes. that somebody yes. else has shoes on their feet. Pray that somebody else has a coat or clothes to put yes. on a, a, a coat to put on their back. Pray that somebody else All right. is well. And forget about yourself because there will be the same identical spirit of Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ did not think of himself. He was thinking of others. He thought of others. others. Yes. Amen. I thank God for our model here. To love is to serve. Serve. Amen. Praise God. And as you serve, you're being served. Y'all ain't gonna help me with that one. Amen. Praise God. But here it was that um they began collectively, amen, to ask Jesus. They recognized, acknowledged him being master, and they said, have mercy on us. Amen. And when he saw them, he said unto them, go show yourselves unto the priests. So he spoke to them collectively. He was talking to all of them. He said, go and show yourselves Unto the priest. Priest. And it came to pass. Look at the name saying it came to pass. And it came to pass. That as they went, pass. they were cleansed. Yes, sir. They was clean, cleansed by going, by obeying, and taking the information that was given unto them and following them. And guess what? By being obedient. Being in obedience with the Spirit or with Christ's words that what he told them to do, as they followed that order, guess what? It was cleansed. As they went. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can say that, okay, I heard you, and okay, I will do it all you want to, but until you put forth the effort to go or to be motivated to move to go, that's when it all happens. Yes. You can pray all you want to, but if you if you're not putting your prayers in action, then it's just falling to the ground. Yes. God does not hear that. Can I get a witness? That's right. That's right. 
So when you begin to pray, first of all, you need to believe that it is all you already have it, and then it shall be. Tell you the witness. Yeah. And then as you believe that it is, has already happened, you begin to walk therein. Amen. Don't just say it and then just sit there and wait on something to happen. But you make it happen. It will work if you work, work it. it. Because that indicates, amen, your faith, your trust and your reliance and your, your dependency and belief in the Lord. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. So therefore, as you begin to pray to the Lord, believe that it is already done and it shall be. In other words, it shall come to pass. Yes. It is already a done deal. Can I get a witness? Yes, yes. God yes, help me with this. Yes, yes. God teaches us how to live. He teaches us how to walk. He teaches us how to talk. Amen. Amen. He teaches us that with the same tongue, be careful with the words that you speak mm -hmm. because you are snared by the words that you your, speak. That's right. That's right. And you're captured by it. And you yes, are a yes, hell yes, captured yes, about yes, what yes. you say. So therefore, never speak anything negative about yourself because you will become exactly what you say. All right now. Are y'all still with me? All right. Me? All right. Amen. And then when things turn out the way that, uh, um, that you did not suppose or you thought it well where it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to be, then you want to go blaming God and say, God did not hear me or didn't answer my prayer. Uh -huh. God said, learn how to talk, learn how to speak. Then you will learn and then learn how to be and you will find these things happening to you and for you as you speak it. Speak those things which is not as no, they well, y'all ain't gonna help me preach up in All here. Right now. We have to speak regardless of what the situation looks like, amen, or what it's seeming to be. We have to speak life into it. We got to Thank speak you, the Lord. way the positive. We got to be positive about it and speak in the way that we want to see it because how you see it, that's the way it's gonna be. That's how you right. see you, that's the way you're gonna be. Can I get a witness here? Yes, yes, yes. Now, how do you see it? Amen. Do you see yourself coming out of poverty? Do you see yourself coming out of that or walking away from that sickness? Do you see yourself getting well? Do you see yourself? Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me up in here. Right, right. Do you see yourself coming and walking out yes. from a sickness or a disease? Can I get a witness here? Because if you can see it, you can't have it. You can have it, yes, sir. Yes, but if sir. you can't see it, you can't have it. It's all about your faith that you have, your reliance and your dependability and your trust and your belief in the Lord. If God say that you are healed, then you are healed. healed. Let the sick say that I am well. healed and I'm well. That's right. Amen. Well. Thank you, Jesus. The more you complain about a situation or circumstances or condition, the worse it's going to get. It's not going to get any better. All right, all right. So it's kind of kind of crazy, right? When you ask somebody how they feel, they come in and go, oh, Lord, I just don't, I don't feel today. No, you don't feel today. And keep on practicing it. You're going to feel even worse. Just say, it is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. All is well in the Lord. Can I get a witness yes, here? Sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And they see how I'm saying, well, what you doing? How many years? It is well. It is well with my soul. Yay. It is well in my soul. It is all well with the Lord. Somebody shout yes to me. I might be bent over a little bit, but I feel good. Oh, keep saying you yeah. feel good and watch you straighten up and you continue to say it. Keep on walking and keep on leaning and keep on yes indeed. But keep on saying I feel good. How you feel? I feel good, but I feel bad. Keep on saying you feel bad. You're going to get worse. That's right. I don't feel too good today. I mean, I'm just... You're preaching. I'm just, and you're getting worse all the time. And next time you ask me another hour, I, I just don't feel, I, I don't know what's wrong. I just feel, I feel bad. God did oh, yeah. not teach you that way to talk. Yeah. Can I get away? Let the sick say that I'm well. Yeah. I don't care what it looks like. Let those that are, let those that are broke, let those that are disgusted, let those that are. <laughs> Yes. That are poor say that I'm rich. Say so. Amen. And walk in it. Yes. Because if you can see it, you can have it. Y'all better help me preach up in here. Ooh. If you can see it, you can have it. You have to see yourself. Even if you're in a predicament, guess what? You have to see yourself coming out of there. Yes. You can't see yourself staying there. You can't see yourself right self right standing, lying there in a pity party and say, I'm so broke, I don't have nothing to eat. Then what? What what's, what's up with that? Yes. Why don't you have anything to eat? Oh yes. Come on now. I, I sometimes wonder, I don't know situation of what's going on with some people in, in some in some parts of this 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 uh, uh state I mean this this uh nation that we're in 
and they will be up in an area, and they are they are uh, 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 they are poverty driven. They don't have, and they don't. But they refuse us to relocate and get in a better area. Can it? Can it is something wrong that you can't move or you can't relocate and get in a better area? Is that? Because as, as I look around, even in, in these local counties that we're in, I look at a lot of people standing on the corners and they're saying, you know, feed me your hunger and all this and that. Yeah. But last time I checked, guess what? We have a whole lot of uh, uh, food banks in. I'm like wondering how can you be hungry when there's a food? Food banks just about everywhere and there you can go and you can. Can I get a witness? Right. So you're looking at it, well, how can you be hungry? Won't, won't nobody give me nothing. Wait a minute, come in, ma'am, sir. Do you not know that uh, there's a food bank over here uh, right around the corner? As a matter of fact, uh, what are you doing there? I'll take you there. And you can go there and take them to that food bank. Everybody can get food. Anybody. You got people getting food that don't need the food. Are y'all still with me? Are y'all? You're right. We need to look. We don't need to look, we need to look, rectify this situation. In other words, yeah, we need to correct these things. And we also need to ratify these situations, we need to confirm. And let them know that here it is, you don't have to stay in the state that you are in right now. Yeah. If you're hungry, guess what? I'm, I'm gonna give you a burger or two, and I'm, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk a little bit, yes. and we're gonna discuss how you can get food. Are y'all still with me? Yes. Has anybody ever introduced you to the food banks? Well, no, well, okay, I'm glad. Well, I'm the first. And we, we're eating together. We may be over at McDonald's, we may be over somewhere else, we're eating together. I'm feeding you and I'm also teaching you, I'm, I'm giving you fish and I'm also teaching you how to fish. Y'all yeah. better hear, hear me on this one. Because if I give you a fish, you can only eat for that day, but if I teach you how to fish, you can eat for many, 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 many days. Because now you know how to go and get this is how I get it. That's right. And then, then there's another thing. There's many jobs that's open. And y'all need to help me with this. <laughs> many jobs openings. Amen. Now, but I, I'm still homeless. And I'm not kicking against something because there are some people that are suffering and going through. But okay, I understand. But guess what? I can help you. Yes. You can help me, sir. And they, they got their hand out for money. Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but that that I have got given unto you. Do you not know you have good vital information that you can say, okay, well, look, I'm going to help you tonight. I'm going to put you in this hotel tonight and this motel tonight. I'm going to put you in this tonight. And guess what? I'm going to show you because guess what? They are hiring here. I mean, they're hiring people as they show up. And now watch this, as you take them and you get them, yeah, and they get this job, guess what happened? They now can, guess what, they're no longer, they may be, you can't say you're homeless now because now you're working a job and until you can get your own place, you can continue to do what I just did. I just put you up for a night. But now you can, when you work and get paid, you can start paying for that bill for the week. And then you got a place to live and stay as you're working. And as you build yourself up, now you're no longer in the hotel or the motel. You now get in your own place. Yes. We don't have the right, and we have the right information, but we don't know how to bring people. We need to rectify these situations and conditions and these predicaments. Can I get a witness here? We need to rectify. Correct these things and let them know you don't have to stay on the street. You don't have to be hungry. You don't have to be homeless. Right now, I'm going to help you get on your feet. Somebody shout yes up in here. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. But here it is that these people cried out to Jesus because they had a situation. They had a predicament. They had something going on with them that they couldn't fit. But Jesus had an answer. And the Bible said, and then when um, he saw them, he said unto them, he spoke the words. 
Jesus spoke the words to them, and as they obeyed, obeyed him, they were healed. Check this out. Verse 14, and when he saw them, he said unto them, go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they obeyed what he said, the words that he said. Mm -hmm. And they were cleansed. Mm. But check this out, verse 15. This is getting to my point. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. How many of you ever seen people that here it is, they come and you do that favor for them? And you help and you bring them out of that predicament? Mm -hmm. And they never, not one time, tell you thank, thank you. you. Jesus. Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm -hmm. They never show any gratitude toward what you have done for them. Okay, now how does you feel when it happened to you? So how do you think Jesus felt mm. when it happened to him? Or how does he feel when we never tell him thank you, Lord? Yes, Lord Jesus. Can I get a witness here? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. you just don't assume or presume or assume. That's right. Amen. Yes. Oh, they know that I, I, I appreciate this. But have you told them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, they can slip your mind sometimes. But if you are so greatly appreciative of what has happened for you, realizing that what you, the predicament you was in, you can't wait to tell them thank you. You're excited and enthused about getting uh, brought out of it, but you can't wait to tell them, I got the Lord, I forgot to call and tell them thank you. And you get right on your cellular phone and you're calling you say, Look, I am so sorry. You know what? I was so ready to get out of that situation. I forgot all about to tell you thank you. And you were hearing all the answer. You know what? So I understand. Say, I understand. Say, look, I know that I saw the expression on your face, and I know you were so glad to get out. And guess what? I knew that you appreciated it, but it's always good to tell them. Thank you. That's right. Tell them. Right. Don't assume that they already know, but tell yeah. them. Yeah. Speak the words and tell them. Yeah. Jesus spoke words, and things began to happen. You speak words, and things yeah. began to happen. Yes. Do you realize how much it means to a person yes. when they hear you saying, thank you? Yes. Amen. It shows a great sense of gratitude. It shows a great sense that you appreciate what they've done. It shows that you don't feel that they owe you nothing, but they did this out of the yes. Yes. <laughs> but when you are, when you don't say thank you, you're feeling that the person may start thinking because they can get all the, uh, pessimistic about it, and they can start thinking that the person don't even really appreciate nothing that you do, because what you do, they never say thank you. That person might start thinking that they, maybe they feel that you owe them something. Amen? But when you show yourself being grateful, You say it, and you tell them, and the person, guess what? You'll be amazed at how much more you can get out of that person. Yes, yes. But when you never say thanks, that person may not do anything else. Yeah? Can't get a witness. But here it is that only one, now watch this. The Bible says in verse 15, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice, he didn't say, thank you, Jesus. You know you get in church sometimes and say, tell the Lord, thank you, and people, first man in the back, they say it under the bread, they say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this person said it with a loud voice because he realized that what he was in versus where he is now, that how the Lord had delivered him and brought him up and out of a situation and a predicament that he could not bring himself out of. So therefore, something that he couldn't do, and that he was that Jesus, the master, did, then I must turn back and tell him thank you. Somebody shout yes up in here. And he didn't say He didn't talk under his breath. God has been too good to us to sit there and be quiet and silent. Can't nobody hear but us saying, Thank you, Lord. 
Yes. Ain't yes. nobody else heard yes. you. How can anybody else be convinced? How can anybody else be persuaded? How can anybody else begin to start thinking that, okay, I want to serve the same God that you serve because he brought you up and out. And now I know he did because guess what? With a loud voice, you thanking him. You looking crazy and looking all foolish. Guess what happened? Mascara running all down your face. Oh, somebody shout yes. yes. The water falling all out of yes. your eyes. Tears yes. of joy. And you're thanking yes. God. Guess what? I want to serve that God. But how are you going to convince or persuade or influence anybody yeah. when you come on there? And sometimes we wait till we get home to tell it. Tell it everywhere you go. Tell it on a billboard. Tell it everywhere you're in the marketplace. Tell it in the street. I don't care who you're riding with. Yes. Tell them how good God is. Somebody yes. shout yes up in yes. here. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to. I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good. So good to me. I know I couldn't have done it without you, Lord. I know I would still be there if it had not been for you on my side. Somebody shout, yes, the devil would have swallowed me up. But Lord, you came right in. And you brought me up. You brought me out. You... Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, I just... Hallelujah. I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. But watch this, watch this. And sometimes we think that don't mean nothing to the Lord. But check this out. Y'all better hear this. Sometimes we take things for granted. It don't mean it. Well, well, he know that I thank him and I love him. Because guess what? I talk to him every night. Nothing wrong with praying in your secret closet. But when you praise him, you praise him openly that others may hear. And then hopefully that it may convince or persuade somebody else. Influence somebody. And where is your influence in the Lord? Yes, sir. You get quiet. Yes. Go through something hard enough, and I guarantee you, you will shout it out. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Maybe you haven't been through anything hard enough yet. Hallelujah. But you just don't know my story. Well, guess what? You need to tell it. <laughs> you need to tell your story. You need to tell how good God been. You need to tell how God has brought you up and out. You need to tell those nights that you couldn't sleep and God gave you rest. You need to tell. If you have hurt and it was if that was bad enough, you'd be glad to tell somebody that I know somebody that can bring you up and out. Because your testimonies. Testimonies. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. This is how you shut the devil about the blood of the Lamb and your testimonies. The devil don't want you to tell nobody what he took you through that night and how God brought you out. He don't want you to tell that. He wants you to hold that back. He don't want you to say, thank you, Lord, and shout it out with a loud voice. But this one them, check this out. Verse 15, I got to work on this a little bit. And one of them, one out of ten, and one of them, when he started, he was healed. Somebody shout yes. Yeah. Turn back. And with a loud voice, glorified God. Not a quiet voice, but, but a loud, loud one. one. Yes. Amen. Yes. Sometimes the church needs to be so loud that people that can't stand it need to bring some earplugs. <laughs> what do you call them things you put on your ears and other things? Muffs. Huh? Earmuffs. You put, bring the earmuffs too. But bring some earmuffs. M plugs. <laughs> Muffs and plugs. Earmuffs and all that kind of good stuff. And some <laughs> and some look, some ear plugs and all this. <laughs> you can't stand the sound. People used to tell you look back in the day. In the old church, you know, they and some day they wouldn't allow you to play no drums. They get to the and that's just too loud. I cannot stand it. Tell them to stop playing no drums so loud. Tell them to stop. But then bring you some, yeah. Because when you're praising God, you was having the Bible tell you to praise him with the loud symbols. Oh, can I get a witness up in here? The loud symbols and the, yes, the loud sounding of the symbols. And, yes, the, yes, and, 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 and then look, and get your dance on, something to you. Get your dance on. Oh, yeah. 
Get to dance on. I see Santi getting that dance on. Everybody looking at Santi. Santi be going like he got it going on, boy. I tell you. And he ain't dancing and praising unto us. He dancing and praising unto the Lord. He don't care what you say about him. At that time, he's in the, yes, he's in the moment. And he's in the spirit. And he's giving God the praise and glory. He don't care what it looks like. He don't care what you say about him. He don't care how you talk about him. But when he's dancing and praising unto the Lord, guess what? It don't even matter. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Say you do it unashamedly. <laughs> See, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God unto my salvation. Yes. I will pray to him everywhere I go. I will yes. tell him everywhere. Yes. So he was, yes. he turned back with a loud voice, yes. verse 15, Lord, and glorified God. And watch this. And fell down on his face at his feet. Somebody shout yes. Yes. Giving him what? Thanks. And guess what? He was a Samaritan. <laughs> he was not even a Jew, but he was a Samaritan. This is how he was a Samaritan. The Jews and Samaritans didn't have anything to do with each other. He was that he he showed how grateful. Yes. That's the power of gratitude. Showing how grateful you are what God has done for you. Yes. yes. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Okay, well, how can you put this in a sense of um, dealing with a uh, Samaritan and a Jew? Check this out. A sinner and a born-again Christian. Watch this. Just put it in this, this manner. It's ten lepers. They got lepers. One of them out of the ten, turned back and shouted with a loud voice to tell the Lord thank you. And this one that turned back was not a born again, but was a sinner. Mm. Y'all get the picture now? Just imagine that. You got saints in the group of the ten, and you got a sinner in the, in the, in the group. But the one that turned back and with a loud voice and told the Lord, thank you, cried out with a loud voice and thank God, thank Jesus. Just say, in our sense, I'm just paraphrasing and throwing this around a little bit, was a sinner. But why didn't the other ones that were saved and born again turn around and do like he did? Y'all see the way the world is now? Uh-huh. <laughs> Everyone that cried, Lord, Lord, uh -huh. shall not enter into, into the kingdom. Right. Amen. Amen. This one took the time to turn around and turn back. And he done had his healing package, so he could have kept going too. <laughs> right? Amen. 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 I don't know whether it was a he or she because they didn't say that. It did. It's a one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But whoever he was, or whoever she was, whoever, yeah, they turned back. And guess what? And with a loud voice glorified God and fell down and worshiped. Watch this. They fell down on, oh, it was a he because it said his face. Yeah, this was a he. And fell down on his face and his feet and Jesus' feet. Watch this. Giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. So that was a he. I'm sorry. And Jesus answered and said, now I'm going to let you know that it, yes, it does bother the Lord when we don't tell him thank you. Amen. Amen. Because he told us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. praise. When the praises go up, when the prayers go up, when the praises go up, when the prayers go up, when the praises go up, when the prayers go up, guess what comes down? Blessings. 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 Look at the name to blessings comes down. Blessings come down. So as you praise him, begin you begin to be blessed. Yes, indeed. Amen. Yes. God is wise. God can bless you in one way, and guess what happened? And you can turn around and still be not satisfied, not content. Yep. 
Because there's always going to be something. If you don't fully. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And the Bible said, Jesus answered. Now, let me let you know it did bother Jesus. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not, this is verse 17, were there not 10 cleansed? But where are the nine? Where the uncle said, Where the nine at that was with you? In other words, where they at? Then Jesus began to say unto him, Check this out. They are not found that return to give glory to God. Save or accept. That word save means accept. Accept this stranger. So the stranger, the one that was not of the foe, gave him glory. Gave glory to God. That's the way it is. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. You have known people that are unsaved come in the church not claiming nothing mm. and will provide more service <laughs> than the ones that have been in church all their life. Oh, and will give more to the kingdom of God than those that have been in church forever. Don't, don't get caught up with those that have been in church forever. I heard the word when it said because that there would be a time the last shall be first, and many that shall be last shall be first, and the first shall be last. So how are we that have been in church a long time trying to condemn somebody just because we've been in church a long time? You can't judge nobody else. That's right. That's right. Preach it. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> are y'all still with me? Yes. Amen. But he turned around and Jesus said, they are not found that return. He said, they are not found that return to give God glory to God, give glory to God, except this stranger. And this is what he said, Jesus said. And he said unto him, verse 19, he said, arise, go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. Yeah. See, what we don't understand about this, watch this. This one in particular that turned back and began to shout out to the Lord with a loud voice and began to bow down and fall at his feet and worship him. Not only was he healed, he was made whole. Yes, yes, yes. But what's the difference in being healed and made whole? He was healed from that disease. Mm. But he was made whole of all yes, diseases. Lord, yes, Lord. yes, God. So different than one thing that you went and you asked the Lord to do, and God came through and he did it for you. That's the one thing. Not realizing there's many, many more things that the enemy has got yeah, conjured up to attack you with later. But when you're made whole, somebody shout yes. Yes. Jesus. It may come, but it can't stay. Yes, indeed. Are y'all going to help me preach this? Yes, yes. Troubles yes. may come, come but trouble's going to have to go. Preach now. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Shall prosper. Come on now. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Oh, it may come. It may hit me, but it can't stay there. Yes. Somebody help me preach up in here. Yes. It may, yes, the Lord never said that you would never have no problems. You wouldn't have situations or circumstances or conditions. He said, but it can't stay. Yes. Because I found out through him by the gift of God's salvation that he gave unto me. He let me know somebody shout yes up in here. Yes. Amen. That I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And he let me know that I'm more than a conqueror. Yes. Through Christ. Yes. So it may come, but it can't stay. Can I get a witness here? Yes. He was made whole. Yes. The other one was healed from that disease. But were they made whole? 
No. They failed to turn back. They failed to tell the Lord, thank, thank you. you. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. You must understand something about saved. If you call upon the Lord, he said, who said that you call upon the Lord shall be saved. And you must understand something. God will come and save you. That means he will come to rescue you. Yes. Indeed. From whatever it is. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But to be born again. Mm. Somebody shout yes. Yes, Lord. And brought into the fold, into the family of God. Yes, God. Come what will or what may or hell or high waters. It may come, but it cannot. Ooh, yes, it Lord. cannot destroy you. It cannot stay there. Somebody shout yes up in here. See, because guess what? You must understand that there's no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. You are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. You are an overcomer because Christ overcame first. Somebody shout yes up in yeah. here. So whenever it come, God has given it to us to what to speak against it. First of all, you must speak peace. And when you speak peace, then you can continue to command it to get away or to stay away. Somebody shout yes. You yeah. must command it to be still. You must command it to yeah. get out. You must command it. See, you must learn how to talk and to come against all the things that is contrary to the will and the way of God. We haven't learned how to talk. Yet. That's why we continue to suffer. That's the reason why we continue to go through because we have not learned how to talk. Why haven't we learned how to talk? The Bible lets us know that for my people are destroyed. They are persecuted and they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge for what they don't know. What you don't know can and will destroy you. What you don't know can take you through hell and high water. Can I get a witness here? But when you know the thing to speak to them, you can speak peace unto a situation. You can speak peace unto them. Circumstances and problems. Yes. And then you can command it to be, be, be still. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Can I get a witness here? Yes. You can command it to be still. You can command it to go away. And when you say it, you stand firmly on it, you stand on it. My and God, yeah. my God, my God. Mm. You can cancel out any disease, situations, circumstances, and problems and conditions. If you believe it. Well, so everything that you pray for. Amen. Or you shall desire. And pray for you shall have it. If you can see it. That's right. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Amen. And stop calling yourself weak. But let the weak say that I am. Strong. Strong. Don't you know at your weakest hour. That's when you're at your most prominent. Strength. Get your strongest moment because of mine. Watch this. <laughs> because your strongest weakness is in God. Look at this. My strongest weakness my strongest is in the Lord. Is in the Lord. My strongest weakness is God. Yes. So when I'm weak, then I am strong. Strong. Thank you, God. So when I'm down, then guess what? I am up. In the Lord, I'm up. You might look at me down, but guess what? God saying you're up. Because only when you're down, God reaches down and to pick you up. And when God picks you up and elevates you and sets you and establishes you, can't nobody do nothing about it. They can talk about it, and they can wish you fail. They can wish you would fail in, in, in the city, but they can't control it. Yes, only you can with yes, your faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't that all right? That's all right. Something that's here to let you know. Amen. Out of the ten, percent of just one. Amen. It's amazing, right? So many things can go with that. Amen. God only asked uh, for ten percent of them. <laughs> Amen. People don't want to hear that part of, but He's only asking for ten percent. And 10% of 10, I mean 1%, 1%, watch it. If you, you get a, uh, <laughs> you got 10 cans and a tithe is what? 10%? 10% of 10, 
Ain't but one king. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have nine left. That you had to give up a kiss? How many you got left? Nine. A whole big nine left. Mm -hmm. He can't give God one of them out of the ten. Well, 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 amen. I don't know why I said that. Amen. But to, to close this out, we need to keep up in our hearts, in our mind and in our hearts, all that God has done for us. We need to look toward heaven and say, Lord, recognize him. Could they say what? Master. Right? Yes. Call the master. They call the master. So they acknowledge who he was. We need to say, Lord, I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. When that one turned around, he couldn't speak for the crowd then because guess what? They weren't with him. When I they weren't on the same page any longer. Mind you, they kept going, so they weren't on the same page, right? So you can't speak for somebody who's not on the same page. You're not in harmony. You're not in agreement. You're not in concordance. You're not agreeing a lot. So what he did, he took out. He didn't allow the nine, the other nine, to influence him to keep walking. He took, and that's what you had to do sometimes. Sometimes you had to walk away. Anything that is contrary to the will of God, you have to walk away. So he realized that he had to do taking his own mind in charge to walk away from the nine. They had opportunity and chance to, to do it as he did. But they chose to, they, they chose to keep going. Mm -hmm. But when he did, turn around, turn back, went back, not only turn back, but went back. First of all, he cried, he hollered with a loud voice. Mm. Amen? Yes. To glorify God. Mm -hmm. And then he went and he bowed down, fell at his feet. Amen. Yes, indeed. I don't know what he said unto Jesus when he loud out and cried out or loud with a loud voice. But I choose to believe that he said, Master, I just want to thank you. Woo. Yes, Lord. In other words, Lord, I just want to thank you. <laughs> Amen. And I can imagine as it goes on for being so good to me. To me. Yes, for sir. bringing me out of this predicament. Mm -hmm. For saving me from this disease. Can I get a witness? What can we say in this day and hour? Lord, I thank you for food on my table. Thank you, Jesus. A roof over my head. All that sounds so elementary, right? It is elementary. It is. These are the principles of giving God thanks and praise. Lord, I thank you for awakening me, awakening me this morning and starting me on my way. Lord, I thank you for my health and my strength. I thank you for the keeping of my right mind. I did not wake up with Alzheimer. And some people say the old timer disease. But I woke up in my right mind. In other words, I was clothed in my right mind. Can we get a witness here? Amen. Lord, you gave me a tongue that I could speak. I didn't wake up dumb and I couldn't talk. You gave me ears that I could hear. I didn't wake up and I couldn't hear. Lord, I didn't wake up with with a paralysis or paralyzed. I can move. I can move my fingers. I can move my legs. I can move my head. I can move my feet. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, for making provisions for me because you are a provisional God and you provide for me each and every passing day. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the food that you have brought. I thank you for the food that you have brought. I thank you for the strength that you have given me to go out to earn monies. Yes. It could have been on the way around that I was disabled and I couldn't go out and make money to get resources. The Lord, I thank you for being the source of all of my resources. Not only some people feel so independently 
so uh, uh, grateful within themselves that here it is, they think it's because of what they did is what caused them to have? No. What if you got up and you couldn't move your legs to go out on, yeah, mm -hmm. to make money, That's right. to get resources? That's right. It was God. It's the blessing and the grace of God. Lord, I thank you for your grace, Father God, for being so good to me. In other words, Lord, all in a nutshell, Lord, I just... I just want to thank you. Want to thank you. <laughs> Give God some praise and glory. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. You, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father hallelujah. God. Thank you for being thank so you, good. Lord. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you, Father God, for all that you have done for me. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. For keeping them in my right mind in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for another day. Thank you for another year. Thank you for another time. Amen. In this time. And I'm still here.